Hi guys, welcome to Speaking Through the Fog. I am, as always, your author and blog poster, Miranda Largaspada. Um, today I want to um, kind of overview something I've been thinking about doing and I've had a really hard time for with, and it's because the topic is just so broad and I don't think I really came to a good conclusion yet. But um, I am going to try to do this one more time. This is probably the fifth or sixth time I've tried to do it. So let's see if it works. Um, so I think I'm going to title this um, A Journey to Finding Myself. And that's, um, so I've been being really depressed recently. And I've been depressed since I was 14 years old. I have taken antidepressants since then. I've been to therapists since I was 16. And depression and mental illness has kind of been a big part of my life and the people around me. And, um, you know, just self-destructive behavior and trying to figure out who I am and what I'm doing. It's always been kind of a big question in my life and there for a while I thought I had an answer with archaeology but um when I got sick I was unable to do it and the sicker I got the more of myself I feel um kind of slipped away and so recently I kind of um have been more depressed in a deeper part of myself than usual and so I went for a float and I asked myself um, what it was that I was so sad about and what I came up with and again this is a float so I'm talking to my subconscious and one of the things that they say is good about floating is that you can get answers or suggest things to yourself and there's not the social barriers you usually would have so um, I got so my answer might not make too much sense and it might seem really like hippy dippy but here's here it was it said I got the answer that I'm not happy with how unfair life can be and I wish that somebody would come in and just take care of me and my family and become a fairy godmother and just poof away all my worries and that's just not realistic and that um my self lacks substance like I didn't really have much to myself except that I'm um, a mom and how interesting my past was but my present present wasn't very interesting and my illness that was all I really had to me anymore and it was kind of like a maybe a quarter life crisis because I also was looking at my future going wow everything that seems to be big life events happened in the past and I really don't have very much to look forward to in the future I just and my soul was basically telling me you know you don't die but you know I'm waiting for the end so we can move on and do what we really need to do and I tried to ask myself what it was that I really needed to do and I couldn't find an answer so I started I came out of there even more depressed than I was, and I realized, yeah, I really don't have much substance to me. There's not really much going on, and um, there's a lot of unfairness that I want to fight that just doesn't seem to be realistic. I'm so small, and everything I do, I just feel like a gnat fighting against a giant, just like not even an annoyance, you know? So um, I uh, started looking things... my uh, started looking things up and I had this like feeling of like in my chest almost afterwards where I was walking around almost heartbroken I mean it was physical I could feel like in my chest like almost like I just gotten broken up or something and it was very um distressing and I couldn't seem to pin down what was wrong so I typed online um a, my question directly, which is how I always start my research, you find the best stuff if you just ask, ask your question, because there's always inevitably somebody else who's asked the exact same question. So my question was, um, how come I feel heartbroken if there's nothing that would have broken my heart? And I got walking depression as one of the search um, topics. And walking depression is this so people get this view of depression that you lay in your bed and you're just 
you're worn out and you're tired and you don't want to talk to your friends and you're just like no laughter just to kind of emotionally void and all this and walking depression is when you can still get up and go to your job and do your all your stuff and and laugh with your friends but when you get by yourself you're sad you know and you're depressed and you just don't feel right so from that they said um something which was when you let or you feel like your life lacks meaning and you're somebody who needs meaning you could be existentially um anxious so i looked up ex existentially anxious and got um uh, the next step would be ex existentially depressed and existentially depressed is asking all the big questions in life why am i here what am i doing what is my purpose why am i alive and coming up short and that's kind of what happened to me. So I was like, wow, existential depression, what can I do about it? And I'm reading and it sounds really, you know, depressing as far as what you can do about it because there's not much you can do about it. Basically, they said, once you ring, ring the bell, you can't unring it. So once you realize that life is kind of meaningless and there's no point to it, there's no way of unknowing that. So you have to kind of just um, start moving yourself in a different direction. So the direction that they suggest you leading yourself in is more like a, I don't need a purpose to do things. I can just live. Living is the purpose. And I felt like that was kind of, I don't know, like a groundless argument in a way. Like they didn't have anything else. So they just kind of use, you know, confusion and turn the question back as the answer. So I kept looking, and there's other ways you can kind of deal with it, and that's to quit looking at your world so negatively. Like, most people who are depressed, um, they do a lot of, like, um, self-blaming and self-hatred, and um, when they're looking for a purpose, it's because they're just maybe not satisfied with their life. And so to do things that are more satisfying, and um try to be more altruistic and <laughs> i'm sorry that word's really hard for me and um just uh continue on in a way that you feel um is more genuine and so um that sounded like a better answer and you know it said don't be so worried about what is real and not real and what's you know a um What's a fallacy? What isn't the truth and living your life as the truth? It doesn't really matter. Just live your life in a way that you feel like is um, um, beneficial to others and look towards the future and ask yourself basically like, what can you do to leave um, your mark? And to remember the ripple effect that every little thing um, ripples into and becomes a bigger thing eventually. So it was kind of like, okay, maybe I can do that. We'll see how that works out. And um, I started researching Buddhism a little bit, and I'm not going to get too much into that because it's not, this isn't my time to convert anybody. I don't want to convert anybody into my religious ideals or anything, but let's just say it, it sounded like it was something that really spoke to me. Um, and I just, you know, ha I'm having a hard time, um, coming to terms with myself and what I am right now and the fact that I've lost so much control over my life. Um, it's, it's a hard flow when you've always been really independent. I've worked since I was 14 years old. Um, I'm not used to asking people for rides. I had a car this and bought myself a car. The second I turned 16, um, I mean, I've always been really big and, and, um, um, worked towards being independent and then being forced into this role of dependency has just been a freaking, uh, just a huge blow to my personality and my ego and everything and trying to separate myself and, <laughs> become this new thing when it's completely against everything I've ever, you know, believed in has been really hard. So, um, I don't really know what, see, this is a lot better than I had before. Before I was just trying to talk about 
existential depression and what it is and who it affects and stuff, but it doesn't really have a too good of an explanation or an ending, and neither does my story. So I think that this might be an ongoing thing I post on this search for me, and so far um, my answers aren't really answers, so um, I'm hoping in the future maybe I can say a little bit more. Um, so I hope this wasn't just me rambling to a camera, and it was at least a little bit interesting, and I'll speak to you more on speaking on, or speaking through the fog.